Yo, what is going on YouTube today? I know it's been a while, but I do have another video for you guys. We're going to be reviewing Impact Igniter by All Max. This is their uh, high stim pre-workout. <clears throat> so. Okay. So, uh, first here we have the label. So, explosive pre-workout stimulant muscle swelling pump activator active fat transporter um so some like marketing key terms can you turn muscle into fat or can you turn fat into muscle no they're made of two different properties so well i mean i, I know no you can't i know there's going to be some people that says well no if you do this and then okay no okay so high stim pre uh folk energy focus volume so yeah, some pretty flashy marketing terms. Um, I'm just going to say, so, high stim pre-workout. Yes, this is a high stim pre-workout. I will be going over why this is. Uh, keep in mind when I am going over this, if you're wondering, why isn't there, like, pump formulas in here? Why isn't there, like, some pump products in here to give me a pump? The reason for that is because All Max separately sells a pump formula, so ideally they want you to buy them for both. You want They want you to buy both of them, their pre-workout and their pump formula. So you can find these around 40 ish dollars, give or take. Some stores might sell a little bit higher than that. Some might discount it so it's a little bit lower. Um, sometimes they do a sale if you buy two of these, you get one completely for free. Or buy one, get half off. So there are definitely some uh, good sales to be found here. Um, but yeah, okay. So in the supplement store, this was the second most powerful or most uh, highest in pre-workout, I guess, to put it that way. Uh, next to the Ultra State pre-workout, performance pre-workout that I previously reviewed. That thing was insane uh you couldn't if you were doing a power lifting competition that you were getting drug tested you can't use alter state you will fail the drug test so if you are doing a power lifting meet that is drug tested go for this um because um there's no banned substance in here unlike the um alter state which there is some banned substance in there so okay to start off, we got L-citrulline malate 2 to 1 ratio. Okay, so I'll say uh, I am just going to go for a full serving. There's 20 full servings in here. So, yeah, I, we, we don't do the half serving stuff. No, no, no. We only do the full serving. Um. Okay, so, yeah, 20 servings, 1 scoop. Um. 40 calories typically i say watch out for calories in liquids because they can add up quickly but you're, you're only taking this once a day so 40 calories i don't really see a problem with that um and then one gram of carbohydrates so that's four calories so whatever uh okay so l citrulline malate two to one ratio six thousand milligrams so that is the Ultra State had 8,000 milligrams. So this is a slight downgrade um, for the L citrulline malate, but oh well. Uh, it's not like they put pure citrulline in here anyway. So, okay. Uh, Agmatine sulfate at 1,000 milligrams. Not bad. And then taurine at 1,000 milligrams. That's also not bad. Um, Taurine is a focus agent, of course, as you already know. Typically, you can find it in energy drinks. Uh, however, a thousand uh, for a maxed out pre workout, I would like to see 2000 milligrams. But I mean, a thousand, it will give you focus for sure. Um, I'd like to see 2,000. Will 1,000 work? Absolutely. It's just if you want to max out a pre-workout to its fullest potential, you should do 2,000 because you definitely do see a benefit from going to 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams of taurine. Um, but 
1,000 is still good. You'll still definitely uh, feel it. And no, taurine is not dangerous, even with it, even if it's mixed with caffeine. I know 99% of you know that, hopefully. But there is some people that actually think taurine is dangerous if it's mixed with caffeine, which doesn't make any sense. Um, there's, there's proven health benefits of taurine, so I'm not sure why people are going on about that. Uh, beta alanine, 3200 milligrams. So, this one, uh, kind of controversial. I personally think 3,200 milligrams, I mean, yeah, I, I'd say it's okay. Even with 3,200 milligrams of beta alanine, that, that's the minimum effective dose. I, I still get some tingling side effects. So, typically, and I still do take beta alanine to this day, around 3,200 milligrams. Uh, if you have, like, that itchy or, like, tingling sensation, I especially get it on, like, my face and my hands. Nowhere else. I mean, there's some people who have, like, nightmare stories about only taking 3,200 milligrams and, like, their whole body gets, like, crazy itchy. But no, slightly on my face, slightly on my hands. It's mild. And then I just, I drink it. When I get the side effect, I hop in the cold shower goes completely away and even if i don't if i just ignore it it will still go away in 10 to 15 minutes so it's not that bad um for me at least but it does vary to person to person there are some people that take like 10,000 milligrams of beta alanine and they can't feel it at all and there's some people that take less than 3200 and it's like an absolute nightmare for them they, they can't take it ever again so it varies from person to person so Take beta alanine, see how you feel, and then go from there. Boo, 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 boo. Uh, coconut water powder at 500 milligrams. So I, I guess that's for hydration. Uh, there's not really much purpose for coconut water. Um, L-citrulline is at 1,000 milligrams. Uh, okay, not bad. Uh, caffeine uh, anhydrous, that's it, is at 400 milligrams. The other pre-workout ultra state had 450 milligrams split between three different sources. I that that was a good pre. I mean, so 450 milligrams split between three sources, so it would like release like 200 milligrams of caffeine and anhydrous. You would feel that immediately, and then as they're working out, would slowly release the other caffeine, the other like 250 milligrams. So I'd be energized throughout my entire workout. And even after the workout, I'd, I'd still have a lot of energy because the caffeine would just keep releasing. And then there's also ingredients in that one for the caffeine to last longer. Uh, but pretty much when you take this one, it hits you all at once. So you will feel all 400 milligrams of caffeine within like five minutes of drinking this. Um, you might like that. You might not. Oh, uh, for me, I mean, it, it felt good, but it definitely wears out fast. I mean, even, like, within, like, two hours, I couldn't really feel this anymore, even with that 400 milligrams of caffeine. So, I mean, like, I drink this, um, right around 8 a.m., that's when I work out, and then I leave the gym at 10 a.m., and I, I, got, like, I can't feel the pre-workout anymore, and it's only been two hours, so... Yeah, uh, if you are concerned, if you do take this later in the day and you are concerned about if you can't fall asleep, don't be. This thing, even though it has 400 milligrams of caffeine, it, it wears out fast. So I wouldn't really worry about, I wouldn't really worry about it, personally. Um, Alpha GBC, 150 milligrams, um... Yeah, okay, and that's about it for the formula. I guess all that is 40 calories? Okay. I'm trying to, like, calculate it in my head. It doesn't seem like it'd be 40 calories. But, you know, okay, 40 calories, whatever. Um, L-carnitine, L-tyrosine, both at 1 grams as well. So, what do I think of this? It is a good, high stim, in your face, like, punch you. Well, I mean, it's not crazy high stim. It's a good, 
moderate high stim. I'll put it that way, because I know there's pre-workouts with 700 milligrams of caffeine loaded with all sorts of stimulants. Um, I mean, like, there, there was one I saw that had, like, 700 milligrams of caffeine, uh, and it also had, like, uh, carterine, DMMA, DMHA, pretty much every single stimulant in the world loaded in there. Um, I guess, yeah, so there's, there is a bunch of those. Unfortunately, I wouldn't really recommend using those, or at least not often, because you build up a tolerance, and then you'll, you'll need something more and more and more, and then eventually you'll just get to a place, like, you can't find a higher stim pre-workout. So that's why I wouldn't really recommend using something like that crazy. But yeah, this is a good stimulant pre-workout. I, I use it as a high stim pre-workout. Um, so pretty much what I did is my Tuesdays and Thursdays were my really, really intense morning workouts. Uh, so I did, I do like, like sometimes like intense leg day or in, intense full body workouts. Uh, and then I also, like, roll out of bed exhausted, so I need something to wake me up and something to really be energized through my workout. So, Tuesdays and Thursdays, I use this. And then Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, I would just, uh, if I wanted something, I might have, like, a Monster or a Coffee uh that there's that's just caffeine just to like pick you up no pumps no or no like pump products uh not a lot of focus agents either but it, it still worked and then needed to get out of bed tired boom high stim pre-workout right here now i could go in between do like a moderate to low stim pre-workout on monday wednesdays fridays and saturdays but instead I'm just this was like the pre-workout i used for my intense workouts in the morning so yeah that that's what i did uh leave your thoughts down below i know i'm not really active on youtube <laughs> as much as i should be uh kind of have other stuff i'm working on so yeah if you do have video ideas uh comment those down below I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next video. Love you guys. Peace out.